What is up guys and welcome back to the Raid Shadow Legends video with me the real deal. So today we're going to be putting shards, we've got 21 sacreds, but just before we do that, um, I'm so close to hitting my uh, target of 300 subscribers, so if you are new to the channel please do hit that subscribe because it really helps my channel grow and motivates me to make more content for you guys. So let's just get straight into it, we've got 21 sacreds, um, there's so many champions that I need and want on my account, but hopefully get something juicy. Um, Oh, this chick's new. Don't know too much about her, to be honest. But, um, you know, she's not really someone that I'm after. Uh, I know this guy is one of the hardest hitting epics, but um, I wouldn't really recommend building him for that. There's definitely better epics out there. Uh, Fanex, great champion for Ice Golem. Um, he has a block revive on his A1. I think, I'm pretty sure it was his A1. Yeah, block A1, uh, block revive on his A1. Yeah, when ascended. Oh uh, yeah, so he's really cool, really decent champion. Gerard the Stone, I actually love this guy. Um, I'm still using him for Faction Wars. He hits really hard, single target, um, really usable. Definitely can use him in some dungeons and stuff. Knight Erard, not really, you know, mediocre, average. Tarogi the Frog is amazing for Clan Boss. Um, also using him in Faction Wars as well. He can be using quite a bit of different content. God, well, I feel like uh, A Aox, the Remember, is a great champion as well. Can use him in loads of content. Um, does loads of healing, does poisons, decrease attack, and uh, decrease crit rate as well. Oh, so a quarter of the way through. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, so we pulled this, this baboon. So this is a new champion. Um, I have not seen anything about them yet. Samson the Masher. Um, okay, so increased attack is always a good buff. Um, really useful for Arena, especially like Master Yoshi is a great champion that does that. Decreased damage the ch uh, champion receives from critical hits by 20%. Counterattacks the attacker when a hit with a critical hit. Okay, that's a 50% chance of counterattack when a hit with a strong normal or weak hit. Okay, so there's a lot of counterattacks. What is he, a base champion? Okay. Attacks all enemies, removes all increased debuffs from the enemy before attacking, then places an extra hit if this attack kills an enemy. It's a bit of an unusual one. Um, you know, not many people are going to have increased defense buff on them, but it's still useful. Um, but, you know, if you do kill someone, get an extra hit, which is great. And he does attack all enemies as well, so it's an AoE ability. Um, attacks one enemy two times. Each hit has a 35% chance of placing a stun buff for one turn. 35%. Books up to 45. Yeah, so... Okay. Um, He just seems sort of... I'd say average to me. Um, Nothing too special. Bit of a shame. I was really looking forward to getting... Like, I really need some more uh, decent support champions. I've got... Um, here we go, here we go. Come on, come on. Oh, my God. Um... <laughs> Virgil Maka. Um, yeah, so this is my second one. I actually fused him um, when he came out as a fusion. I thought he was going to be really good for Scarab. Unfortunately, he wasn't. Um, he has like all this provoke. Sort of, yeah, he's immune to provoke. He fills his turn meter. He can cleanse and stuff, but he's not any good in Scarab. I don't think anyone uses him really anywhere in any content. I've never really seen him used. I mean, he looks really cool. He's like this sort of mount champion. But um, yeah, so he's just going to help my faction guardians, unfortunately. That That is disappointing. Uh, <laughs> John Noro. Ch Chononuru. My God, I cannot pronounce any of these new champions' names. Their names are so weird. Um, but yeah, she's pretty cool. Um, I'd say she's sort of, I don't know. Personally, for my account, though, I wouldn't be using her. Um, she's not going to bring much to the table for me. And the bears... The bears are no good. Definitely. I wouldn't even use them in Faction Wars. Sand Slash. Oh my god, Survivor. Love this chick. Uh, she is amazing. Great for Arena. Like She hits super hard. Um, you can put her in a defense team. Um, and great for dungeons as well. Great for clan boss as well. And with a passive. So she basically um, paces a 50% ally protection buff on all allies for two turns when an ally's HP drops below 50%. And she puts block um, damage on herself. Um, and it's got a five turn cooldown, or four turn if you fully book it. But that is really strong. Um, and yeah, 
And when she does that block damage as well, she'll be taking all the damage and not taking any damage. And your teammates will just, it just really helps keep them alive. And um, she also decreases duration of any buffs. And this ability really hits really hard as well. And then A1's got a provoke on it. And that hits really hard as well. So she is a solid, solid champion. Love Sand Slash. Who else have we got? Uh, this is a new one. Um, don't know too much about her. Probably not that great, to be honest. Word on the street is... Uh, Jarag, not great either. Just sort of, I'd say, average. Here we go, here we go. Oh my god. Okay, Bad Elkazar. Um, there was actually a tournament recently. I know people are going so hard for this guy. And um, yeah, he is amazing. Um, yeah, I think people could push it like in my tournament bracket, people pushing like 50k tournament points just to get him. And I've been lucky enough just to pull him. He is an amazing champion. Uh, he cleanses, he throws out loads of poisons and just heals himself. And he can solo a lot of content. He can solo dragon, uh, ice golem. So yeah, um, and ice golems are real pain. So yeah, bad L, he is definitely getting six starred ASAP. <laughs> what a beast. Oh god, so three three Legos out of 21, and one of them actually worth my time. So very pleased, very pleased. Another Jarang. Oh, come on, one more, one more. Um, Giscard the Sigil. Um, I think he can be used for... Um, yeah, so he can actually be used for Scarab, because he's got... Um, he puts up a shield... And it has a three turn cooldown. So basically any champion that has that can be used for Scarab. Scarab? Scarab. <laughs> um, and basically what you do is he needs to be the fastest in the team. So he'll constantly be putting up his shield first. Um, and then the rest of your team goes and you just need to keep that turn meter down. So yeah, he's a cool little champion. I uh, don't think we get any... Oh, this is a new dude. Um, I don't have this guy. He looks pretty cool. Um, yeah. Very, uh, um, I'm digging, digging this dude. So A1, tax one enemy has 50% chance of removing one, okay, random debuff from all allies. Okay. Okay, so he clean, like sort of will be cleansing your team. Okay. Attacks all enemies, places a shield buff on all allies for two turns, equal to 50% chance of this champion's max HP. Increases the duration of all buffs on allies by one. Okay, so he's like, he seems like a pretty decent uh, supportive champion. Bit of a long cooldown though, unfortunately. And then his, um, so this is on a three turn cooldown, his A3, which uh, places a taunt. Oh, so that's a new ability. Oh, so this can be used on, um, sorry, got a bit, <coughs> still got a bit of a cough. Um, places a taunt buff, so it's a new buff. Um, so that can be used on the head of cleansing on Hydra. So that's really cool. Also places strength and buff and counter attack buff on this champion for two turns so that can be a bit tricky um you're gonna have to if you're gonna use that ability you need to make sure that you have um what's it block debuffs on that head of mischief because otherwise you can still counter attack and spread it across the team and that is going to definitely wipe your team so we've got one more shard to go come on one more lego we wouldn't mind no okay and sir armitage just a no-go from me so that is a bit disappointing, um, but we got Bad L, like what an awesome champion. Um, can't wait to start leveling him out and start using because he is an absolute boss. So anyway, um, time for the shout out competition. So this week's shout out is done by Elvis for my man, Asian Austin. And damn mama, his account stacked. He got Tormen, he got Rio, Solus, Lady Kimmy, Hepper Freak, Bad L. Trunda, Rotos, Foley, Duchess, man, this account is sweet. You're making the real deal real jealous. But Asian Austin, what can I say? You were always on my mind. Maybe I didn't treat you half as good as I should have. I just never took the time. But Austin, you were always on my mind. So guys, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. 
please smash that subscribe. Make sure you leave me a chicken thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. But one last thing, um, I don't think I'm going to be singing no more because my, my singing not so great. So I'm going to be trying to do more impressions. So for the next video, subscribe, leave a comment, and I will do an impression forever you want. Peace.